you you are now tuning in to Kanisha Lachey <laughs> no filter okay so if you didn't know let me tell you this is a real raw and pure authentic entertainment channel okay I'm bringing you in can't showcase no other but who I came off the cool jazz and that's Kanisha Lachey one all right just thought that I put that out there just in case if there's any confusion there's any confusion on your end keyword keywords you're in i want to try to clear up that confusion be sure to read my about tab i'm going to continuously say this until i see that people are doing what the flip i say do which is listen to the things that come out of my mouth i don't be talking for no reason i don't be wasting my time that may seem like that on your end but i'm here to tell y'all don't be wasting my time honey i don't i, I got a lot to do so can you see the background? Can you see the background? If you can. I'm just saying, if you can see it. Um, that's my great-grandmother. My great-grandmother, she passed away in 2016 of May. It's May. From Alzheimer's and dementia. And I am currently staying in her room that she lived in when she was here on Earth, if you don't know. I am currently living with my grandmother. I am caring for her now. My grandmother has dementia. Not sure if it's, I don't know where we at with Alzheimer's, but I know for a fact that she has dementia. And I'm actually gonna insert a clip that actually happened before I started recording this. And I'm gonna tell you, hold on, first and foremost, wait a minute, this is gonna be a real ass video, okay? It's currently, 11:33 right now time right there and what i'm about to show you this happened was recorded around nine something i believe but it's just see how time 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 is precious let me just next clip <laughs> looking like kermit and just oh ugly i'm telling y'all <laughs> timing <laughs> timing because I was literally about to go in on my family members because I was assuming things but I'm telling all right timing was on my side this in this case but I'm about to find out so if you don't know my grandmother has dementia and she's had dementia for years and I want to give you a backstory all I'm saying is to make it short my grandmother raised me she took care of me from when I came out the coochie she took care of me as a a toddler, a, a kid, child, teenager, and part of my adulthood. If it wasn't for my grandmother, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't even have none of the things that I had in life. Nothing. I wouldn't have went to school if it wasn't for my grandmother. The first go round, although the second go round, I put myself through school and fucked that up. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have done that. If it wasn't for her, I would have never, ever, ever, ever had a car. Cause I know I won't, I don't want to buy one with how I was spending money. I would have never got to experience traveling if it wasn't for her. I would have never known what it meant to actually love yourself and don't depend on a man. Now she didn't know that, but she taught me that through her actions. I never, it's a lot that I, it's a lot that I would have been without if it wasn't for my grandma. And the crazy, it's crazy how tables turn because I'm now taking care of her. So, my grandmother has been getting into accidents quite frequently within the last couple of days. And let me just say, y'all, due to my choices, I'm going to talk, talk to y'all about it because you need to know who you're watching. But I have put myself in a fucked up situation um, last year in regards to a vehicle that I had. Or oh, was it last year or 2020? I don't remember. Anywho, the vehicle, the vehicle that I was driving was hers. But it was technically mine because she couldn't drive. I'm just saying, the one day I was taking too long um, for her to get ready. She wanted to go out to Home Depot. And I was like, Mama, just wait. Just wait. But she knew what the fuck she wanted to do when she wanted to do. And this particular day, because she chose to be impatient, she got into a car accident and total lost the vehicle. That happened on well, last month, April. Here it is, May, going on to June. We are fucked. For one, she's not going back on a lot to get a car because she can't drive no more. Her motor skills aren't there. Me, 
Let me just say, I'm not going on a lot because I have some correcting to do still to my credit. And I don't want no fucking payments. And if I was to get payments, girl, my payment's going to be about 500 some dollars. Who that don't do that? I'm not paying no 500 some dollars a month for no car. Are you stupid? Hell no. So I'm in a place right now where I'm looking for a car that's decent. It ain't got to be 100% cute, but the bitch can't be 100% ugly. But I need something to ride around in because we cannot be here without a vehicle so now i'm testing which is, is this now this situation is testing the waters with family members i look so terrible this is testing the water with family members so family members can talk that talk oh well they can't be in the house without a car so what the fuck are you gonna do about it to help us are you just gonna thank the thought and the thought just be there for that one day and then days go by and you don't give a damn or hear about nothing until something happens then you go back to think about thought what the fuck are you gonna do to help us what are you going to do to help us? I guess not coming to my nose. What are you going to do to help us? It don't look like nothing. Yeah, she don't need to be sitting in the house. Because she don't need to do that. But when I ask your bitch ass to come and get her, take her somewhere, it's a bunch of excuses. I hope the Lord see what's truly going on. I hope he truly see what's going on. Because this is when you start to see who is really for you and who ain't. That's all I wanted to say. That's all. Yeah, so as you heard, I think I said it. Um, I'm in the process of doing my hair. I already did the back part, although it don't look like I did nothing. But I'm um, doing some interlocking to my hair because interlocking works with these nigga naps of mine. And yeah, and I also decided to stop perpetrating. I decided that I was going to take my locks out, my faux locks, and just allow for my hair to do what it's going to do, being that I made the decision to become a lockhead. I'm tired of faking the funk. I just wanted to showcase my skills in comparison to other folks who do faux locks. I was like, <laughs> look at mine. <laughs> you professional, but mine look damn good. If I must say so myself, yeah, I was on that type of shit. I was trying to um, bring in clientele because I was going to start doing locks. And let me just say, don't know about want my hands in their head. My hands in their head, I did say that right. And I don't blame them because if you know something about me, if you've been watching me for a while, I said the same shit, so I understand. What's understood ain't got to be explained. But as I said, it's 11 something right now, and I am about to actually roll up. Yep, I said roll up. Why? Child, I can't really tell you the why, but let me go in my belly. Can't tell you the why. And Lord, if you notice something, shut the hell up. I ain't even gonna point it out. I should have fixed it before I came on camera. Yeah, I'm on my cycle, and I'm currently wearing an oversized thing yep tmi yes i got secrets i have secrets i have a lot of secrets that i wouldn't dare tell you but I told you i'm like an onion i i tend to tell too damn much but hey why I hold on to it but let me cover myself up for you try to talk shit and yes i look terrible child i'm going through i'm going through stuff okay i gotta get my weight back can't you see my little arms getting a little skin, skin day? You know, artist mine anyway, but I got to get my weight back. And I plan on doing that starting today, eating right. So let me just show you. Wait a minute. Peep the before now. All right. Booty. I still got me ain't how it was. My ass was fatter than this. See the cheeks? Legs, thighs, they didn't got a little smaller. Belly ain't went nowhere, that's for sure. But my arms, um, my arms, um, baby. Yeah, I gotta get back right because I have been stressing. I've been stressing, I've been stressing, I've been stressing. But stress ain't doing nothing but putting wear and tear on the body. So I have to get back to my conscious state of mind knowing Kanisha expect the unexpected and also expect the expected you are intelligent you are smart you know the word you know how the lord operates now i don't know how he, he let me let me i know the reason why he do things and it's for our better good even if we don't see the good i hope you follow me i ain't yeah anyway but yes, life is kicking me. Do I want to say it's kicking me in the ass? Not really, because I'm trying to kick it in the ass. All I'm going to say is I got my good days and I got my bad days. 
Let me not sing the songs. I'm going to muck it up. And it was today. I'm going to be smoking out some paper. And I'm going to be smoking some killer. I done mixed up three different kinds of weed. Some granddaddy perk with some Skittles and some apple fritter. And I believe a couple of specks of OG Kush up in here too, child. <laughs> I need to relax my mind because my mind is is all, 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 all over the place. So now, when I do get this blunt rolled up, I am going to go online, look on Marketplace, and try to find some vehicles. The only thing with doing this shit is that you... My phone is about to die. Now, back to what I was saying. Uh, it's going to be a little, a little, uh, a little summer trying to buy a car out of the marketplace. One, I do be trying to trust people, but people, they're not, they're not honest. Let me just say this. This is the thing. I'm going to tell you something about me. And just because this was how I am doesn't mean the next person is like that. But <laughs> nine times out of ten, we are similar, okay? So I remember at one point in time, um, my early when I first not when I first my early twenties, I had this little Toyota car and had got into a car accident and it was the car could have been total loss, but ended up fixing it on my own. Getting a, uh the door was messed up on the driver's side. So the uh, ended up fixing it. Driver's side door was a different totally different color from the whole entire car. I ain't wanna drive that bitch, so I sold it. Anywho, it was some manner problems going on with the car, but I, I wasn't honest about the problems that was going on. Uh, the car got bought still, but as time went on, the person found out something was wrong with it. They ended up seeing me and was like, yeah, why didn't you tell me what's wrong with the car? Because the bitch, I was trying to get the money. Long story short. People don't be honest. So I'm, I'm going to be taking a chance. And it, I understand it's a reap what you sow type of thing. I'm going to be taking a chance spending this money on a used car, which used cars and older model cars are better than these newer model cars. I'm going to say from 2000, I'm going to start 2010 or 2011 was the last year of good making cars, quality cars. But yeah, I'm going to go through something with that. I already know, but I am praying that the Lord just works. I hope he got favor upon me because he know he's looking down on my situation. And his other child of God situation, I hope that he blesses me with the vehicle so that I can still do my job with Karen for her. Because I can't do my job, every all the whole part of the job, because I ain't got no cop to do that. I'm stuck like fucking Chuck. Never would have thought. <laughs> Never would have thought that I would have been without of a car 100%. But choices. I told you, you can learn something from me. You can. And one of those things is, I don't care how old you are watching me, because I do have people of age watching me. Thank the Lord. Ain't no little churn here, because Lord have mercy. I ain't got time for your mama to be coming over here. Starting to cry. But, um, your credit line is your, your, your credit line is your lifeline. Your credit line is your meal ticket in life to be able to get whatever you want. Let me just say, I used and abused my credit at an early age, and I'm still paying, reaping what I'm sowing. I'm paying off my debts, as I was told to. I had to educate myself on that, too. You do know that the Lord is a sin for us to, to have debt, regardless of what our excuse or justification is in our mind. The Lord told us we should, we should be debt-free. For one, we should have never went to the man, the white man, and borrowed money from his behind in the first place. We should have held on to faith in due time. Although his time is a long process, but he told us we got to pay our debt back. I remember one point in time, I was like, I ain't paying my debt back until had a little talk with Jesus. Jesus was like, oh, you ain't getting into these heavenly gates if your debt ain't paid. Start with that first. So I'm trying to do every little thing that, that he told. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I ain't perfect, I'm trying. But I'm trying to do right, man. And I'm understanding. I'm okay with the things that I have to go through because it's a part of making choices. You got to deal with your consequences. So I'm not mad at the world. I'm not mad at myself. 
I'm proud that I did. She can't say I'm proud, no. I mean, if you don't fuck up, you're not going to learn from your failures. You know what I mean? So I'm learning from all of... I want to cry because this is so stupid. I was so fucking stupid. I didn't have no fucking guidance. Like, what the fuck was going on? That's why I don't want no kids. But if I was to have one, I know that I would guide my child the right way and instill them with everything that they need to, lo- to know to live this life that we have to live, man. I'm going to say, I wasn't prepared for life. I had to teach myself things on my own, which I'm pretty sure you watching this, you had to do the same because your parents, they made in, they weren't equipped with certain skills and then their parents weren't equipped with certain skills. So do you get where I'm going with this generational bloodline curse? History tends to repeat itself, but it starts with you. It starts with me to make change. And I'm trying to do that shit. And very, hey, it ain't easy, baby. It ain't easy, especially with the little gift I got. Speaking up on everything. Oh, oh, bitch, I'm getting hit hard. Hit hard, hit hard. But I'm telling you, when I when I, I, I mean that I be trying to do right, it don't matter how right I do, these tests, oh, they coming. But I'm looking at the bigger picture. He got some waiting for me, and I am waiting for it. I'm preparing myself for whatever the heck he got in store for me. Because, honey, when I tell you, I, about, I, I ain't lying to you. Shouldn't say this, but I'm being real with you. I can't count on my hands and toes how many times I want to take myself out from this world. I want to take myself out because I said, you already told me, Lord, I ain't going to be happy. So what the flip you still do? Why am I going to be here if I want to be happy? Be content. Be appreciative and grateful for you, what you have. I see a lot of people looking at what they don't have and realizing or failing to realize that you're blessed. You are blessed. And I'm talking to myself, too. I ain't got no car, but I'm blessed. I ain't got my own house yet. But I know that, I, oh, that's a different story. I'm blessed. I, I slightly see the future, or at least I can but I ain't gonna go there because I ain't trying to have the lab left gonna be on God like you see you saw what <laughs> who showed you that <laughs> the main life 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 and this is why I'm doing what I'm doing on my channel because if you tuned into these videos Everybody that I'm talking about, I can relate to them because I've done the things, some of the things that I'm talking about, I can't get it out right. I am who I am talk, was talking about. When I had my money, money, money at the early my early 20s, I wasn't humble. God had to take everything from me to sit my black ass down and humiliate me to show me humbleness. That's why I said, wait for this documentary, honey. And I'm waiting too, because now, <laughs> I don't even know how content going to get uploaded, because I ain't got no vehicle to make my way to do what I want to do or do what needs to be done. Oh, got to work on that. I might have to get Wi-Fi out here in this country, but I don't know who the hell going to service me. Because all the places that I can check, they, they, they can't reach out here, but somebody reach out here. That means I got to do my research and i haven't been doing my research thoroughly because i know folks out in the country got some damn internet so yeah i need internet right now i need a car hell fuck the car i need and i need the car yeah because i got a job to do with my patient you know and i keep saying I, it sounds like i'm talking about a patient for real like a food but man ah Oh, Lordy. God is something, he is something, he is something. And damn it, the devil, he is something too. Then I was saying this morning when I had woke up the thought of my mouth, I said, Lord, if I do go, go to heaven. <laughs> it sounds crazy. So, but you still have a little favor on me. Because I'm going to cause hell and hell. I'm trying to tell you. I am trying to tell you. Mm-mm. The devil going to want me out of that motherfucker. You take her. Please. I'm like, please. Let, Jesus, please. At the end, listen to him. Before can you listen to him now, take me up there with you. <laughs> Let me do a good deed. I will. I promise. 
I won't break it. And if I do, send me back. No, I don't do that either. Ah, man, life. Life, 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 life. And the choices you make. I never forget when I was in middle school. Now, I do forget. I don't know if the person was white or black. But I remember the topic of discussion. We had got called to the gym. And we had a public speaker to come talk about choices. <laughs> I don't know if I was listening or not then, but I damn sure remember that shit now. Choices. It ain't no joke. And it ain't no need to play victim when you know you done, done fucked up shit in life. That's why I'm where I ain't. I, I done told y'all about me. If you ain't listened to me tell you about me, I done told I know things. I know what I'm going to go through. I know what I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to go through to its fullest extent, but I, I know. But man, shit. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Because he's going to show you who's boss. God, trust me. I know you who's the boss. You is my boss. You're my daddy. You, you're my mama. You're, you're everything. It took me that long to fucking roll this blunt up. I don't think about rolling these papers, honey. Take a little time. Now, with my Rello, excuse me, my Dutch Masters, or oh, my Dutch Masters, girl, I don't be playing no games. I be rolling with the quickness. Alright, let me see. But, um,. I don't even know. No, what I, what do I want to say? I don't even know. I think I am kind of frustrated with myself, man. I believe I'm going to have to go into them savings. I ain't trying to do that, you know. Cause I don't feel like this is that serious and to go on to my savings for that. Anyways, all I gotta say is stay tuned to see how my life unfolds because I'm gonna share it with you. I'm gonna share it with you. I'm gonna share it with you. I'm just glad that I am tied to my family because <laughs> I just wanna say, alright, whatever, do it. I'm glad that I'm tied to my family because we got family business and I'm good. That's the only thing I got to say. If you watched one of my videos, I was talking about Peach. That should tell you about something. I was like, I got six figures more than that, but you know. Bitch, how you got six figures and you ain't got no car? You got to know about how things work, how investments work. And I can't act off of impulse. When you do things off the of impulsive decisions or emotional decisions, that's when you attempt to fuck yourself up. But I lose you good, because ain't none of your goddamn business into ways, into who's. I got to put some clothes on because it's raining outside, and I got to figure out what the fuck I'm going to smoke. I don't know if I want to go in the shed or not, because I don't know what's in the shed. Anyways, uh, I'm going to catch you in a little bit.